So I was wondering how the Surface Pro 3 would perform when using CAD programs like Autodesk Revit. And so I brought in a friend of mine, Marius, to show me. He's a, a student who works a lot with Autodesk products and, uh, and Revit in particular. And so I got him to bring in and, and show me a couple of his projects that he's been working on on the Surface Pro 3. Now, as you can see here, we have that on screen and we're uh, loading up some different projects, different buildings that uh, he's been working on. And you can see that even in this three-dimensional mode, the Surface is rendering these projects with lots of detail quite quickly. And we are hooked up to my 4K screen. So again, that adds another layer of complexity there in that we have uh, a very high graphics output going on. Now, it's been many years since I've used CAD. So uh, I've got Marius in to show us um, the real intricacies and details of this. Uh, but you can see within Revit that uh, bringing up a three-dimensional model and spinning around it works very well. In fact, it's very surprising how well this works. Marius is using the i7 version of the Surface Pro 3. But we can even switch across and look at uh, two-dimensional plan layouts. And you can see that switching between those view modes is very quick and easy. Um, I'm just shooting this using my handheld, um, my, my uh, Nokia phone, my 930, Lumia 930. Um, I didn't have my camera set up for this one, but I really wanted to share this with you and get a, a bit of a feel for how the Surface would work in this role. Now, I'll leave the final comments on this to Marius um, and see what he has to say in his experience using um, Revit on different computers. But what you can see here is that the performance is very acceptable. Um, getting around uh, Revit uh, on the Surface Pro 3 works quite well. Obviously, this is a program that is predominantly designed for keyboard and mouse input. But being able to run it on your Surface means that you do have a very, very mobile computer that has the power on board to be able to run very complex software like this. Not a compromised cut down version of this CAD software, but the proper, full, rich desktop version of this software. Um, right on a very, very lightweight, very mobile device. So I'd imagine if anybody was working out there in a CAD type role, particularly where perhaps in engineering or architecture, where they're doing a lot of work on site with customers, the Surface Pro 3 is really quite an exceptional option, uh, especially in this particular version here with the i7 processor and the 512 gig SSD. Um, this version has 8 gig of RAM on board, of course. Um, but the, you can see that the performance um, with the, the new Intel onboard graphics chip that went along with that i7 processor, it's pretty good. Like we said in the end of this video, it's not a CAD workstation. It's not a really high-end performance machine that's just built for that task. But what it is, again, the Surface Pro 3 being, is a very mobile option uh, for doing this sort of CAD work. Um, if you like to work out of the office, um, if you are in front of customers quite a lot uh, in and out of uh, client meetings, then this may well be either a primary or a secondary computer option for you uh, to be able to do this work. And I know that certainly Marius uses this as his main computer, even though Marius um, is a bit of a Mac fan, certainly loves his iPad and all those sorts of things, being able to have this sort of program on a thin, lightweight device like this was really something that was compelling for him. So here's me and Marius talking about the Surface Pro 3 and Autodesk Revit. So what are we doing there? So these are pre um, rendered oh, like predefined walkthrough rendering or just a, a set viewpoint? Um, oh no, these can... Oh wow, look at that. Look at the detail on the uh, plants and stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it? absolutely. Getting a little bit slower there though, isn't it? Just a bit. As you... Look. So you're zooming out. Yeah. So as you do that... That's got to re-render a bit. Yeah, these are live view renders, so whichever computer you'd use these on, these would um, rebuffer themselves. Okay. Um, so you've got views like that. So effectively, is this real-time rendering that Revit's doing here? Um, these particular ones, yes. Oh. So these aren't um, full photo renders. Yeah. These are just in-program renders. That's cool. So looking at the output, a um, couple of these renders were done on the surface. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Okay. So that's the quality output of 
under, under the pre-programmed so you can see the timber pathways. And how, um, how did they take long to knock out like that? Um, they do take long um, because of the quality of the program, but to compare it to another computer, yeah. um, this was probably about an hour quicker. Wow. So this would pull this particular render out in about eight hours. Your yep. typical computer would go for 11 or 12, okay. even. Yep. Unless you had like a high-end CAD station sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. Quad, quad core. Even then, of. these you're still looking at hours, yep. um, whichever way you go for something like this. Cool. Yeah, the, the typical 3D views um, do work quite well. So you get no problem being able to spin around your model. If I went to realistic, um, this adds an uh, extra layer of complexity. Yeah, um, it starts to chug a bit more. Yeah, so this is no longer I'm um, just playing colours in Revit, but this is using accurate things. So you can see even um, the colours in yep. the bushes, more yep. realistic, the umbrellas. So the first half of this project was done um, on my old laptop, which was a HP. Yep. Had about 8 gig of RAM, still had a Core i7 processor. It couldn't move. Right. Okay, wow. So as I'm spinning this around now, even though you can see certain amounts of lag, other computers couldn't even pull this. It's pretty cool, eh? And that had a 1 gig graphics card in it as well. Um, 2012 model computer. Okay, okay. So can you go from this sort of 3D view, like can you bring up one of the floor plans or something like that yep. to show us some? Absolutely. Might get in on some detail there maybe. So you can zoom right in into any area of this. Um, all of this is live, so you can change um, certain walls. Um, even probably the smarter way of doing this, um, as you go through this, so what I can do is hide all of the roofs. So now, as you go through... Oh yeah, so you're looking at like a virtual three-dimensional floor plan. ...with Revit is that everything is accurately awesome. modelled inside it, even um, the basins, the shower bases, um, bathtubs. Have you ever done this like in just tablet mode? Just like, on the small screen? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've done it. Like mobile with a customer or something like that? Or? Um, yep. Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah, I've had to do all of that. Um, admittedly, it is a bit harder to navigate. Yeah, because it's really designed around <laughs> mouse and keyboard input, yeah. Yeah, not just that, but on a 12-inch screen, your eyes start to strain. Yeah. Just a bit. <laughs> but yeah, everything's quite accurate, um, really? down to the very size of the windows. Mm. Yeah, quite cool stuff. That's awesome too, and, and like I love the way that that's live rendering with shadows and all that sort of stuff too. Yeah, absolutely. It's amazing. So you've got your two extremes. Um, something like this, the average computer could probably handle with yeah. a small graphics card. Um, but at the same time, um, the Surface does probably a better job than yeah. obviously other computers do.